Count Disco here. And once again, I'm doing a review of CNN's documentary series, The 2010s. This is a review for episode 5, titled, Take It to the Streets. <clears throat> Alright, so tonight's episode was all about the uh, protest and uh, political movements that occurred during the 2010s. Tens, all right. So we're talking about, you know, starting things off with Occupy Wall Street and the Tea Party movement and the beginning of the Black Lives Matter protest. Trump takes over and all of a sudden you get uh, women marching on Washington, the Me Too movement. You got Colin Kirkpatrick taking a stance against racial injustice by not standing for the national anthem. You get the uh, Parkland students who do their March for Our Lives, gun control reform protest, and then you finish things off with the climate change activists like Greta Thunberg. I think they, they covered the whole gambit of, of you know the 2010s, every political movement, every protest that was going on. <clears throat> Gotta say though, knowing how it ends, it's kind of sad. That you had all this civic engagement, all these people going out there trying to get something done, and they get screwed over by the two parties that we got in control of the country. You know, you got the Republicans, they just want to piss over, piss off, piss on, just piss on everything. And then you get the Democrats, when you give them the power, they do nothing with it. They do nothing with it. You know, I, I thought it was kind of underhanded how, you know, when they get the, the Trump, they say all these protests occurred. Because of him, it's kind of how they suggested it. Yet, you know, with Barack Obama, no one suggests that, you know, the Occupy Wall Street movement happened on account of him. He was too friendly with business, and we got fucked over by it, and it led to these protests. None of the blame is on him. Anyway, great episode tonight. I enjoyed it. Looking forward to next.